Shao Liang and Li Qin join forces to perform the double heroine of the phoenix in the enchanting world. In the vast ocean of current TV dramas, dramas with two female themes are emerging like Spring Breeze, which also makes me curious about this emerging genre. By observing the market, I found that dramas with two female protagonists are not only unique in their choice of themes, but also have fascinating highlights in plot settings and characterization. So, I walked into a high-profile drama with two female protagonists, The Phoenix in the Charming World with anticipation. In the upcoming Phoenix, Zhao Liang and Li Qin will once again work together to play two completely different heroines. The plot this time takes place in the mysterious Phoenix realm, and the two heroines embark on an adventure in this wonderful background. The heroine played by Zhao Liang needs to constantly travel between the Phoenix realm and the human world under the guidance of the Phoenix clan, while Li Qin will play a female doctor from the human world, and the two will face external threats together. In the special plot setting of the Phoenix in the Charming World, I can't help but have strong expectations for the fate of the two heroines. This drama presents the audience with a mysterious fantasy world that blends the fairy world and the real world, and the two heroines will embark on their adventure in this unknown realm. The background of the story is set in a wonderful world where immortals and mortals coexist. The two heroines come from the Phoenix realm and the human realm respectively, which makes their encounter even more destined. In this mysterious and imaginative world, how the two heroines will support each other and face various difficulties together has become the part of the plot that I am most looking forward to. The audience will witness a true display of the deep friendship between the two heroines. In this magical phoenix world, they may face a series of unknown crises and tests, but in the process, their deep friendship will become their most solid backing. Perhaps it is the experience of working together, or the scene of supporting each other in difficulties, which will make the audience have a strong resonance with the tacit understanding and emotional connection between them. The plot design in the play will introduce the audience into the deep friendship between them through specific action details and emotional descriptions. Perhaps in a fierce battle, the two heroines worked together and had a tacit understanding, or perhaps at a critical moment of life and death, they stepped forward without hesitation. These scenes will allow the audience to get closer to the hearts of the characters and feel their sincerity and steadfast friendship. The compact and dramatic plot design also made me look forward to the phoenix in the world even more. The heroine not only has to deal with emotional entanglements, but also various threats from the outside world, which makes the whole plot even more gripping. I can't wait to see what challenges they will encounter on their adventures and how they will overcome the obstacles. As for the cast, I can't help but be excited about Zhao Liang and Li Ken working together again and Ren Jilin joining the cast. The combination of this lineup is not only very visually impactful, but also makes me full of expectations for the phoenix in the enchanting world. Zhao Liang and Li Ken have always been well received by the audience for their excellent acting skills and appearance. They can interpret the characters vividly and make people truly feel the emotions and inner world of the characters. Especially the collaboration between the two heroines in The Legend of Chukiao has already left a deep impression on the audience. Working together again to star in Phoenix, people are looking forward to the chemical reaction and acting collision between them. The addition of Ren Jilin adds a lot to the drama. As a high-profile actor, he has also demonstrated outstanding acting skills in previous works. In the Phoenix in the Charming World, the role he plays will be a highlight of the entire story. The audience is full of expectations for his performance in the play and believe that he will inject more fresh elements into the story and make the overall plot more exciting. The cast of Phoenix in the World is undoubtedly one of its highlights. It not only makes the audience full of expectations for the plot, but also makes us believe that this drama will definitely present a wonderful performance in terms of the actor's acting skills. I hope that while watching the movie, I can be moved by the cast. As a viewer who has a strong interest in TV series, I am full of expectations for the Phoenix. From the emotional description of the two heroines, the plot setting to the cast, this drama seems to have all the elements to attract the audience. I hope that during the movie watching, I can be drawn by the plot and moved by the growth of the characters. As popular articles on the internet say, this may be a visual feast about female friendship and fantasy adventure, and I will welcome the arrival of this feast with full anticipation. It only aired six episodes and it topped the list. This was the first Dark Horse drama in November that made me stay up late to binge watch it. Among the dramas that are about to meet the audience next, Zhao Liang's Traveling with Phoenix is a typical drama with a female protagonist. Judging from the trailers released so far, Zhao Liang has also firmly grasped the role of the female protagonist momentum. In addition, there is Ningen Like a Dream starring Bai Lu. From the plot setting, it is also a typical hero in drama. 
Originally, this series had not been scheduled for a long time, which made the audience impatient. However, now that it has been launched online, it has directly won the first place on the list after only six episodes. I have to say that there is still a strong market for dramas with female protagonists, and Ningen Like a Dream has once again made everyone feel the charm of this genre. This is the first dark horse drama in November that made me stay up late to follow it. The beginning of the story is a bit surprising. The heroine Jang Zuning, played by Bai Lu, worked hard to become the queen. But he was controlled by others and placed under house arrest in the queen's palace. In the end, he could not escape his certain death. And the people who love her and the people she has saved have become sharp blades stabbing her. Jang Zuning just received the lunchbox in just a few minutes of the plot. People can't help but wonder, how should the next plot be played? Then the play interprets the ending of Jang Zuning's character from the screenwriter's perspective. It turns out that Jang Zuning is a character created by the screenwriter. But in order to cater to everyone's preferences, the heroine was turned into a vicious queen. In order to allow the protagonist to develop according to his expectations, the screenwriter asked Jang Zuning to travel back to a time before she became a queen, and asked her to change her fate against the will of heaven and rewrite the ending. Jang Zuning woke up again and returned to the year when she was 18 years old, but she still carried all the memories of her previous life. So Jang Zuning tried every means to change his previous life trajectory in order to avoid being killed again. She was once bullied as an underappreciated concubine, so this time Jang Zuning took her two loyal maids to fight back, using her father's identity to make her servants obediently return all the stolen money. Full stop. The person who put Jang Zuning in trouble and faced life threats in his previous life was Yi Wei, played by Zhang Ling. Jang Zuning was shocked when he saw Yi Wei at home, and then realized that he had ignored too many details in his previous life. But Jang Zuning did not sit still and wait for death. Instead, he tried every means to stay away from the other party and looked for opportunities to find out the relationship between Zi Wei and Prince Yan Lin. Because in her previous life, Jiang Zuning disguised herself as a man and met the princess at a lantern festival, and she fell in love with her at first sight. But after Jiang Zuning entered the palace, her daughter's identity was exposed, which made the princess furious, and her dark life began. Therefore, in order to avoid meeting the princess, she first refused the invitation of Crown Prince Yan Lin and then tried to avoid the princess. But even if Jiang Zuning could hide and avoid all the important nodes in his previous life, key figures would still appear by chance. For example, because the princess admired Prince Yan Lin, she learned that he liked Jiang Zuning, and managed to find out her whereabouts, so she ran to the Yu family and met Jiang Zuning. In order not to offend the princess, Jiang Zuning drew beautiful flowers on the scar at the corner of the other person's eye, but she was still favored by the princess. In this life, Jiang Zuning is destined to go back again. However, judging from Jiang Zuning's way of dealing with things and her relationship with Si Wei, Prince Yan Lin and the princess, Jiang Zuning did change her destiny this time. Not only did she succeed in revenge, but she also developed feelings for Si Wei. People can't help but look forward to the subsequent development of the story, especially after knowing the ending of Jiang Zuning's previous life, and watching her travel back and live again, it feels like she has been spoiled in advance. Ningen Like a Dream is highly anticipated, mainly because the two protagonists Bai Lu and Zhang Ling are rumored to be a real couple, so many viewers are looking forward to the emotional rivalry between these two actors. However, judging from the plots of several updated episodes so far, Ningen Like a Dream did not focus on the relationship between the two from the very beginning. On the contrary, Zhang Zuning was very afraid of Zi Wei, who had killed him in his previous life, and in Zi Wei's eyes, Zhang Zuning was just a simple person on the surface, but actually had a lot of trouble in his heart. In addition, Prince Yan Lin has a close relationship with Zi Wei. Yan Lin loves Zhang Zuning deeply. Zi Wei did not fight for love from the beginning, but tried every means to understand Zhang Zuning to prevent Yan Lin from being hurt by the wrong person. Therefore, in the early stage of the plot, I did not feel the sense of camaraderie between the two actors. But Bai Lu's acting skills and Zhang Ling's looks are still the two highlights of this drama. Zhang Zuning, played by Bai Lu, was a vicious queen in her previous life, and her character was not lovable, but after her rebirth, she became a thoughtful, kind and gentle person. If you want the audience to quickly feel the contrast between the characters' past and present lives, you have to look at the actors' acting skills. Can the audience get involved? It has to be said that Bai Lu's performance in this role is indeed remarkable. When she appeared, Bai Lu was dressed as a queen, with a cold look in her eyes, which was enough to make the audience feel her ruthlessness and ruthlessness. But after traveling back to the age of 18, Bai Lu played Jiang Zuning's cautious character again. 
It can be seen from her eyes that Jiang Zuning is vigilant about everything around her. When she meets Su Wei again, who hurt her in her previous life, she can see the shock and fear in the eyes of her character Jiang Zuning. But when he realized that he had restarted his life and that Su Wei could not threaten him at this time, Jiang Zuning's eyes held a hint of unnoticeable hatred. It can be said that Bai Lu's acting skills are very brilliant, and he can interpret Jiang Zuning to the point, allowing the audience to immerse themselves in the character and directly start the revenge and counter-attack mode. Zhang Ling's acting skills in the play are also top-notch. He plays Hu Wei, who is easygoing on the outside and does not fight or grab, but is actually sinister and ruthless on the inside. Zhang Ling's I play is very good. Even without lines, he can convey the character's emotions with his I play. For example, when he played chess with Jiang Zuning's father, it seemed like he was just comparing chess skills. But when he heard that Ning Yatao was in trouble, a look in his eyes showed that the real purpose of his trip was to see Ning Araya. And Zhang Ling's appearance is also very impressive. Even if the camera hits his face, his facial features are very three-dimensional. His face is thin but not skinny like a mantis-type handsome guy. His clear jawline also makes Zhang Ling look more heroic. The eye-catching character settings of the male and female protagonists, coupled with the high degree of completion of the two actors, make Ningen like a dream far more interesting than expected. Such a high-quality drama is what truly meets everyone's expectations. Wang Yebo, there is no doubt about overseas influence. Wang Yebo's international influence is no accident. He is not only an outstanding actor, but also a high-profile overseas superstar. Since his participation in Shen Qingling went abroad, Wang Yebo's overseas influence has become more and more significant. His works are not only popular in China, but also spread his name throughout North America and South Korea. As his works receive more and more praise overseas, Wang Yebo's overseas popularity continues to rise. The likes and browsing data Wang Yebo received during his overseas activities fully demonstrated his overseas influence. Every photo of the overseas trip received an astonishing number of likes, even exceeding 600,000 in 12 hours. This undoubtedly proves that he has a huge fan base overseas. These data give people an intuitive display and allow people to more clearly understand Wang Yebo's influence overseas. Wang Yebo is not only an actor overseas, but also a high-profile star. He not only has many fans at home, but also has an amazing number of overseas fans. This cross-border influence makes people look at Wang Yebo's overseas influence with admiration. His name is not only on the list in China, but also popular overseas.